We have very important updates on a couple of airdrops as well as going and place ourselves in the top 1% for a few airdrops. So with that said, we jump straight onto the laptop right here and we're going to be talking about Zora. Now, Zora airdrop, I will take a complete guide very, very soon, but there are a few important information that you need to know. Here it is the official Zora Twitter account and we need to go and meet potentially all of the NFTs that they tweet about. And I have them linked down below. And they are this one, so you can go directly to them. Now, they cost uh, basically free, as we see over here. It is only the mint fee, which is approximately $2, $2.50, depending on the price of Ethereum. But all of these are basically free, just quantum the gas fees. And they are from creators that they go and post here. So Zora potentially could be an airdrop in terms of the how many NFTs do you buy? How many transactions do you have? How many artists do you support, etc. So by completing, and we're not going to go and buy all the weird stuff that you can see over here on the homepage of Zora and buy simply all of this just because. No, we are going to go and utilize and buy also only spend our money on the one that they go and talk about because potentially they could either bring more rewards or they could bring more eligibility for the airdrop. So I have them all linked down below. And this one are the means that you have the possibility to do. They all only cost Ethereum gas fees and they're not mine, by the way, you can see here, this is not a NFT that I create. This is all creators from the community. This one is very, very important because this one is a collaboration between Arbitrium and Zora. So very important for you to go and mint this one. But overall, go and mint all of them if you can, of course, financially. If you can pick between uh, one, two or three, I would suggest definitely this one. And then the other, just pick and choose. But overall, this one is the most important. If you can milk them all, if you can go and farm them and mint them, make sure to get them all. As we see here, only cost 0.0007 ETH. So make sure to get as many as you can. And I will bring you on a daily basis over on my profile over here as well. All of the NFTs, which I did already go and tell about it on my community over here. The Zora airdrop. So make sure to follow me also on there if you want to have the latest update. But this is very, very important for the Zora airdrop to mint all of the NFTs that their official profile goes and list. Next up, we want to talk about the Rainso protocol. Now, you've seen online, there are some possibilities that you have seen it, and I will showcase you one that I bookmarked right here. This one is the Rainso airdrop protocol airdrop allocation is now visible. Yet, Renzo over here, the claim is loading. So please do not go and look for your claim on a third party website. Do not go and risk it for any meaning whatsoever. Here they said that officially do not go on any third party website. So make sure to be careful for that. The loading of the airdrop is coming very, very soon. The listing and the claiming will be able to get on April 30th. So in three days from now, as of right now, do not go and click any links not even this one careful this is a fake account rents c protocol so you see here how they try to scam you but do not click on any third parties hey you can check your allocation here hey you can check your allocation there do not do it just be careful out there next up i want to take you the announcement of the omni genesis stacking program over here which we need to go and claim omni and you have the possibility to either claim it or you have the possibility to simply stake it for the genesis now I went to claim it, seems like the wrong idea because here he said that if you can claim your airdrop, you will not have the chance to become a Genesis staker later. You have two options, claim or stake your token, which means that the Genesis staker seems like a very particular situation to be in as a, you know, as a person. If you have the possibility to be into this Genesis protocol, into this Genesis staker situation, it's really, really nice in my opinion. And, you know, people are going to make a lot of money, I do think, but it's up to you. If you still need to go and claim it, make sure to see my previous video. I tell you how to go and claim all of it, but it is very important to choose the right one. I think I made a mistake by choosing the earnings or just take the token. Should I take it, but we will see how it turns out. Next up, I want to let you know also, I did let you know over on my Twitter about this mint of the base NFT. And this is for the, only the early supporters. Now, if you go and open the page, I am not an early base supporters and it will let you know only by connecting your wallet. So let me know in the comments below if you are a early users of the base protocol. And if you do, 
go and mint this NFTs because it could be either a multiplier for the token airdrop when it comes, or it could be something really, really special for the early participant and the early adopters or testnet users, whatever you want to call it, for the base airdrop. So definitely make sure to go and check it out. Next up, we got a new Cosmos airdrop, the XKP, which is the copy money over here. It is a brand new protocol over on the Cosmos ecosystem. It is on a testnet. I do leave you all the information over here. It is a testnet as we see, and they have launched their incentivized testnet completed task to earn reward points. So this is the website. You can go over here. You can connect your wallet. Now, make sure to know what you're doing. If you do not feel like it, do not do it. It is, as we said, a very, very early project. So could be the risk of something huge, could be the risk of something that could potentially scam you. I just want to alert you, so make sure to know or either utilize a different protocol, utilize a different wallet if you want to go and do this testnet, this, uh, you know, this very early adopting protocol, make sure to go and do it. But it is kind of like a point-based system as well, where the faucet, the testnet and all of that. Next up, we have another one over here, the GLY, this is the Glinter airdrop over here. Once again, it is a very new protocol and it has a few posts, yes. But as we said, once again, it is really, really early stages. And what do we know about it? Well, they has already been working with the Stargate Zone NFT sniper bot, but within two weeks, they will be launching a mint bottom and platform for farming points, which will eventually lead to an airdrop. You will be able to perform tasks to get points and will be exchanges for tokens. There is no request for social tasks, so you're not going to be having to spam it on Twitter. You don't have to be spamming it here and there you will have the possibility to simply go and utilize it and perform tasks. Uh, as we see over here, this is the already sign up version. Subscribe, invite friends, uh, join their Discord, etc. So a few social tasks that are not super invasive towards other people. Next up, let's talk about the Renzo protocol. As we said once again here, do not click any of this link. This is the link that I wanted to show you before when it comes to third parties telling you, hey, you can check your location. Don't risk it. Like if it is, just don't risk it. And also we have a little bit of a rug pull on the ZK Sync ecosystem from X Bank Finance over here. Account has been suspended. He has a classic rug, the borrowing plus withdrawing went down, the Twitter went down, the Discord disappeared. So this is the risk of the, you know, utilizing a protocol on a chain at the very early stages. It is something that could happen uh, with all the protocols, with all the pre-sale, with all the testnet, with all of it. It's something that you need to be aware of. So just to let you know that this is happening. But with that said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on these protocols, on this airdrop, which one you're looking forward to. And please make sure to not miss out on the Zora airdrop because we have been failing it. Personally, I did. But now we're going to go and focus a lot on it. With that said, thank you for watching and I see you all in the next video. Ciao, guys.